Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Great run on the overlap here. That's great strength on the ball. Jikia. Difficult to choose between them early on. Not many chances yet. Real chance! Oh, what a hit! What a hit! He's got himself a pitch of a goal! And Zenit St. Petersburg take the lead. Contact was crisp and clean. That was just a rocket. Oh, the contact was fantastic. Right on the boot laces and it packed a lot of venom for what was a really potent strike. Spartak Moscow trail at this early stage. How will they respond? Quarter of an hour played. Zenit St. Petersburg are very much in charge here. Dominating possession and a goal to the good. Oh, sweet feet. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. He's had a crack. A fantastic goal! Oh, it really is a finish of the highest order. They have come roaring back. Oh, that is a bit special.
Spartak Moscow. Grab the equaliser and we're all square. Well, they just couldn't have responded any better, Peter. Yeah, there's the old cliche about how teams can lose focus after scoring, but you still have to take your chances. Brilliant. Pumps it into the area. So, midway through the first half, and it is a tight old tie. It's come loose. Forward it goes. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Spartak Moscow seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? no well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Juba. Tries to stroke it through. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Stitch defending, but that'll do. Jikia gets into the right position to intercept. Both sides a bit lacking in intent. Asmund tore at them and just came up short. Well, he was thinking about headlines, I'm sure, but he ought to focus more on, on breaking lines. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Ivanovic. It's being played forward. Malcolm. And there's a long ball. Defending of the desperate variety. Tries to get it forward quickly. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Asmoon. It's a loose ball. Knocks it away. Moon. And the whistle goes for half time. So, a very watchable game so far. Action at both ends and the team's level. And it's been a decent 45 minutes. Competitive, certainly, and a goal each.
Spartak Moscow. Get the second half started. Gets into some space. Battles to win it back. Gets the better of his man. The referee's awarded a free kick. Referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. He had plenty to do. Absolutely terrific, terrific reflexes. Goalkeeping at its very best. Hoists it forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Plays it out to the wing. It's found its way to him. He's left his man. Oh, the referee's booking him here for a dive. Yeah, it's a good spot. I think the replays will prove he was 100% correct with that decision. Rakitsky. Malcolm looking to hit the front line. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Loose, who's getting there? Malcolm and it's played forward. Shade too heavy, people can pick that up. Played out to the right. Ivanovic. Forward it goes. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Looking for a decent ball in. Has a hit! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Spartak Moscow are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. And that has been cleared.
time to deliver. Here comes another cross. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Malcolm. And it's got through. Malcolm. Can't get the better of his opposite number. So it's going to be another corner. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. Ashmoon gets it out to the wing. Malcolm gets up to hit! Oh, yes, it's there! And that may just do it! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers, too. It was all very well drilled. Spartak Moscow are uh, making a change now. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Zed at St. Petersburg take the lead. Now it's just a question of holding on. Well, the last moments now, Peter, are going to be very frantic. There's still time for a, a twist or two yet. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Asmund. We are into overtime. <laughs> and the referee brings it to a close. Zenit St. Petersburg have held on. A knife edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. So a dramatic game decided in its very last moments. Well, this looked like it had a, a draw written all over it, Peter, so credit where it's due. They found a way to win it, and they can take great satisfaction from uh, never losing that focus. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin, and goodbye from us.